I'm checking now. There's no lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> Nothing. Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for my Pan and Every Palette Project Pan. This is a project that was created by Lady Pans a lot. And my inspiration for this project was Paula at a beauty guru made me do it. I think in a previous video, I just said like a beauty guru for Paula. I'm like, you didn't finish it, Jalon. Finish it. A beauty guru made me do it. Okay. So for this project, I actually have eight palettes that I'm working on, five of which the palette is random, but I choose the shade. And then three of which the palette and shade are both random. It's a lot, but I'm actually enjoying this project. And let me share with you the palettes that I'm currently working on before I tell you about my update. The palettes where I selected the shade. I'm going to share with you the palettes in order that I pulled them. So the first one is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. The next one is by Urban Decay. It's the Urban Spectrum palette. Then we have the Viseart Petite Pro 5 Soleil. The ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. And lastly, we pulled this in last time, the Nabla Dreamy palette. And then the three that I had randomly chosen palettes and shades, I think this was the first one, the Vis Viseart Petite Pro 2 the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. And I think this was also last, no, maybe not. I can't remember now. Maybe this was last month. I can't remember. This one, the Natasha Denona Sunrise palettes. I can't remember anything. I don't have like pan pan. I was trying to hold out doing this update for a while. I was like, oh my God, I'm so close to it. And I think if I use this one more time, like honestly, I'm gonna hit pan. That is from the Urban Decay Urban Spectrum palette. So I was working on the shade Juicy. It is this green shade here. Now I swear that I was using this last time and I was like, oh, there's pan. And then it disappeared. Like this palette punked me. Like it really did. It disappeared. And uh, I don't know. Let me swatch it for you. Maybe I'll hit pan if I swatch it. Nope. I, it feels like it's sealed back over. <laughs> I don't know. I could be wrong. But there's the shade. I'm going to go ahead and bring in another palette for this because I really feel like one more use and I will hit pan. And I was going to do it today but I put on this pink shirt and I was like, I want to wear purple with this. So anyway, I think I have one more use left. <laughs> Maybe I'm totally lying to you guys, but I swore I saw pan. The next one that I, the rest of these I don't have pan in. <laughs> I have the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes and I'm working on the shade Peach Punch. You know, this one here, <laughs> like you can barely tell I've used it. I mean, there's a dip going, but it's not enough to like get excited about. <laughs> this is just not a shade that I wear this time of year. <sighs> so I'm gonna keep working on it. It's really pretty. And I actually did use this the other day with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and Rust. That's my Pan That Palette this year. I used it the other day like as a mixing shade with that palette and I think that worked out really well. So that's probably what I'll continue to do with that particular palette. Next up I have from the Viseart Petite Pro 5 Soleil palette, which is this one. It's a little dirty. Let's clean this. Ew. Well. Now I got the ribbon all nasty. Okay, whatever. All right, I'm working on this gold shade here. And this is, it's definitely got some use. It could use more. It's not the best shadow, but I'm gonna do it over a wet base. I feel like it definitely performs better over a wet base. 
I guess it's more of a copper, coppery gold. It's really nice. I don't wear shadows like this too often. So, you know, I have to pick and choose when I wear it, but it's really pretty. Then I have from the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. I'm working on the shade Chiclet, which is this one here. So I do have a nice dip going in this one. I don't know how easy it is to hit pan in the ColourPop palettes because I've never done it, but I feel like I could be close. I mean, I've hit pan in ColourPop shadows, but they were all singles. And of course they don't put on here the weight of their shadows. So I have no idea. But anyway, I am wearing this today. This is here, I'm wearing it today on the very outer portion of my lid. There we go, so pretty. I feel like that's close. I just have to continue to wear purple looks, but I feel like I'm able to get, you know, a decent amount of shadow whenever I'm using it each time to kind of get that really deep dark look on the outer corner. Today I also have a multi-chrome on top of it, but yeah, it's really pretty. And then the last shade that I have that I picked is from the Nabla Dreamy palette, and I picked the shade Inception. So I have used this, I have not used it a ton, you know, like a handful of times. It's so It's gorgeous, gorgeous shadow. So, you know, there's not any kind of dip going in that yet. Well, I mean, barely, barely. So it's okay. It'll get used. Just, I'm really trying to hit pan and, or not hit pan, but use up my 30 uses on my last shadow that's in 50 Shades of Purple. That's what I'm wearing today. I actually have another one of these shadows on top of it. But yeah, that's kind of a focus right now. So, and I can incorporate it with that Inception shade. I could probably use all three of these together, but I don't want to have too much going on. Anyway, I, I could totally do it. I just pick and choose my battles. Some mornings I'm like, I just want to grab two palettes and that be it. Okay, so the palettes that I had shadows chosen for me. The first one is the Viseart Petite Pro 2 and I had this purple matte pulled in. So I continue to whittle away at this shade. It's not a great swatching shade. So I'm grabbing a brush to get in there to actually show you what the shade looks like because otherwise the swatch is shit. There's the and see, even then, that swatch of shit. Look at that. There we go. It's really pretty. It's great for the outer corner. Love it. But you do have to kind of pack it on. And I do have to go digging. I feel like my dip in here, I should say, it's very wide. You know, it's covering a large portion of the pan. And these are small pans, right? But, and I, I don't drill with like a pencil brush and then get it with a fluffy brush. No, I use a brush like a domed pencil, but they're usually bigger. And yeah, so anyway, I mean, there's a large dip in there, but there's a lot of shadow in here. I don't think I'm even, I may be close. I don't know. These shadows seem so small. I mean, they are. <laughs> But let me see how much, I think these actually have a decent amount of shadow in them. Yeah, they're a gram a piece. Yeah, they're like 0 0.032 ounces and a gram each. So it's not like it's a tiny amount of shadow. It's more than what's in the Lorac Pro 3. The second palette that I'm working on that had the random shadow chosen for me is Lime Crime Venus 3. And I have the shade Heavenly. And this is what I was mentioning earlier is what I have on my eyes on top of Smoky Moth. And this is, I, I feel like these pans are at least based on what I've heard, they're very deep. So I don't know if it's going to be something that I hit pan on by the next update, but I'm gonna try. Cause I feel like this is the next one that I'm very close on. And it is kind of a powdery formula. 
it's just a really really nice a nice topper so yeah working on that hopefully i'll have it out by the next update that's my goal along with that green and the last palette that i have is again as i mentioned the natasha denona sunrise palette and i have the shade poppy chosen for me which is this one here so as you can see i've used it it's i think i've used it I, you know i can cut them on, on on one hand how many times i've used it but it's a nice shade i like how these are removable pans if you want to move things around there we go it's really nice i like my color story it's pretty so even though i have not hit pan in the spectrum palette i'm going to pull a new palette because I know I'm super close. I know I am. Still no lipstick on the team. So let me pull up Wheel of Names, which is where I have all of my palettes loaded and I just updated it. So there's a ton more. Black Friday, holidays, lots of stuff. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Tart, Tartlet, and Bloom. Okay, let me grab that. Ooh, and I'll be right back. Okay, here's the Tartlet and Bloom palette. It's been a while since I've looked at this. Let's see, it's just, it's a bunch of neutrals, but I think that'll be good. I think what I'm going to do, I, I don't wanna give myself an easy pass yet. So I think what I'm gonna pull in is Activist, which is this one here. And I'll show it compared to what I've got going on in my um, Pan That palette. But I do feel like I need a darker brown, like a deep dark brown. And this is stunning. It's a beautiful brown. So what I have in my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Quad and Rust is this brown here and it's much more it's not like super dark on the outer corner you can see the the difference between the two and this is even swatched so I I kind of want something to deepen the outer corner just a bit more and I think this dark brown will be perfect for that I've, I brought in a dark brown last year from the Makeup Revolution Emily Edit pa palette, Wants the Wants. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. And what was that shade again? Oh, I don't think I even said it. Activist, I did. Activist, this one here. Watch, it'll take me all year to hit pan on it. Here we go. It seems to be a pretty, I mean, it's not a super packed shadow, but <laughs> I could be wrong. At least I'll be able to drill a little bit of a hole <laughs> in there with my domed brush. This is a bit of a wider pan. How many, how much shadow is in here? Zero five, three ounces. Why does eyeshadow have too much stuff? Why do palettes have so much eyeshadow in them? Mm. Anyway, there's our color story. You know, hopefully this will be gone soon. It's very warm, except for this really dark, dark brown. It's more of a dark brown, like dark blacky brown than a black. I can pan that. I like to mix those kinds of shades. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. That is going to be my update for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye. He's saying hi. Come here.
my god, this is so off. This and this. Oh my god. Jalon, organize your shit. New palette. <laughs> okay, bye.